Hi guys, this is George back here with another video and welcome to uh, another a new series here on Planet Coast. It's not going to be a ridiculously long series, however. Now, I've been talking about this for quite some time and today I'm finally going to be filming the first episode of this. And I'm going to be showing you all around the park that I built uh, a while ago. So, for basically, me and one of my friends had a competition to see who could build the best theme park in Planet Coaster. And this is the park that I built. And I'm about to show you the park. So, as you see, it's called Discovery Springs, as you can see down here from the bottom. And you can get a glimpse to some of the right here. You can probably guess what a few of the areas, or a couple of the areas are looking at this. But here we go. Don't worry about that. I tried building my first hotel and I built rooms uh, on the second story and it clearly didn't work out. But he, here we go. Three, two, one. Here is Discovery Springs. So as you can see, it's a big park. It's a very big park. So it takes up quite a lot of the area. So basically, the, in Planet Coast, you have a grid where you can build in. Here's one corner. Then there's the next corner. There's the next corner. And there's the next corner. So it takes up a pretty big amount of the area and here we go this is my favorite theme park i've ever built in planet coaster so i'll just run you through the areas here we've got a pirate area here this is like a gardens area a jungle area a forbidden for a like a haunted forest area a movie backlot area a medieval area there an adventure area all here a sci-fi area over here the sci-fi area is one of the biggest areas this one's definitely the biggest, the western uh, area, and that also includes a pathway here. This is actually a second gate to the park over here, and then this is the trockle area with a big B&M hyper coaster. There's two hotels in this park. This one, uh, this one is not, uh, this one's actually a blueprint from the game. Uh, it's the fairy tale hotel. It is a blueprint. It's called Hotel Fairy Tale. However, Hotel Frontier, which is over here, is I built completely myself. And uh, so there's a, a cable car which starts right at the entrance of the park. It goes from here all the way around here to this hotel, and then you can walk separately to this hotel. However, then if you go through this down this path here, there is a second entrance right there, which is hotel guests. So. Um, I don't really know what's happening here, see if the park is closed, um, I'll, I'll just check that the park's closed actually. The park is definitely closed, so I don't really know what's happening there, so, uh, hmm, oh well. So today, we, we're not, we're, this is going to be a few episodes long, we're going to have a few episodes touring it and then we're going to run it as well in an episode. So I'm going to be showing you a few areas today. We're going to start off with the entrance right over here. So as you can see, we've got a, a pretty basic entrance. I, I didn't really want to have a massive entrance. I wanted like the magic to start when you got into the park. So this is just telling you basically that these, this here leads to the cable cars, which leads to the hotels. Here's the entrance. As you can see, it says Discovery Springs down there. Welcome, welcome with a giant clock. And we've got some lights up here. Uh, in here, there is an information booth and a giant king coaster so I'll just go in here so you can see it's, it's not really anything screamed about in here however then when you come out here this is when you go, you pass the first aid booth and a couple of food plates and drink places here and then this is the way you go if you want to get to the pirate area as you can see we've got another food and drink place here with some toilets as well this is one of my favourite buildings I've ever built in Planet Coaster I love it, it looks really good, I'm really happy with that. It's quite a basic building for other people, but for me, I'm not very good at building in Planet Co at buildings in Planet Coaster. I'm much better with rides. So here we go, here is my pirate area. One of my favourite themed areas I've ever built in Planet Coaster. I've literally just covered the whole area in rocks and then, every, uh, and then scattered around the place. There are a couple of stuff like this to look at, but it mainly is rocks with these banana palm trees. There are four rides inside this area we have this i like i really like this because it's like on its own little island in the sea kind of thing that's what i wanted with this this is the treasure wheel and then we have a pirate ship here called blackbeard's cutlass we have uh, a, a parrot ride uh, like a swinging tower ride here 
which is called Parrot's Flight. I named that after the B&M wing coaster in Discovery World. And then the main standout attraction in this area is the B&M dive coaster, which is called, uh, I believe it's called the Black Pearl. <coughs> yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. The Black Pearl. And we're going to take a ride on this now. So I'm just going to close it and then test it again. And we're going to get on. So here we go. Here it is. And this is actually really cool. When you get to about down uh, this pre-drop here, it actually sets off a cannon, which is in the queue line to this attraction. You probably won't see it, but there you go. Did you see a little a little cannon go off in the left-hand side of the screen? And here we go, up the lift hill. There is a part that I'm not a big fan of of this ride. In fact, there's two parts. There's the bit going up into the first inversion, because it goes up, then goes flat, and then into the inversion. And also, I don't really like the brakes, because it goes up into a little airfoil hill tilts to the right and then goes back up I, I i tried to make it so it went straight but clearly it was banked but oh well it's not the biggest deal here we go some lovely views there across to the rest of the park and here we go we're getting a nighttime drop on black pearl here we go this is the first area i built in the park by the way and here we go hanging over the edge and down we go and here we go, this is the bit what I mean, it goes up and then into the inversion. I don't really like that, but I couldn't figure out how to do it without the inversion going back onto the ground. Airtime hill there. There would be a mid-course there, but I did put brakes there, but it slowed the train right down, so I just took them out into the second inversion there. Near-miss elements there with the trees and the rocks. And here we go, this is what I mean by it tilts to the side, and then it goes back up and into the brakes. And then when you get it back into the station, there is a little bit of theming in there and there are some effects that do go off so here we go just turning around back into the station and here we go bang 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 so there we go there's not really much in the stations here it's more like in the areas that i designed it for so there we go there is the black pearl i believe there are about 10 roller coasters in this park there might be more than that but there's at least 10 over here, this is the second area that I built. This is the gardens area. As you can see, we just have a nice little uh, chair plane swing chair ride here. We have a carousel and we also have a teacups ride. I don't really know how it fits into a garden area, but it's kind of like a picnic. You can have a picnic teapot kind of thing. We're not going to be riding any of the uh, flat rides, just so you know. We're only going to be riding the dark rides and the coasters and the rapids and water rides. This is the jungle area. There's one attraction in this area, and that is this rapids here, which I believe is called Jungle Rapids. You no, know, Jungle River Rapids, this is called. So we're going to take a ride on this. So we will just close it off, put it back on, and now we're going to have a ride on Jungle River Rapids. I did kind of want to change the colour of the trough to blue, so then the water would seem a lot cleaner because basically with this if you have the trough green then the water looks really green so I wanted to change it to blue so the water would look blue but then that would really just not fit in with the jungle theme of this area so here we go this is basically just the rapids where you go in and see lots of different animals and stuff like that and here we go we've literally got the worst seat possible to see I believe there's actually some sort of animal behind us, so let's try and switch around so we can see this a bit better. There we go, so there's alligators down in there, as you can see. This is a much better seat. Here we go, it doesn't really matter. We'll go back to our other seat now. We're not really going to see. It doesn't really matter because obviously it's spinning, so you will get different views really, depending on where you are sat. And there we go, there's an alligator there. Right there, to say goodbye to you as you leave the alligator part of the ride. And as you can see, I put loads of these tree things around the ride, I don't really know what they are. And here we go, underneath the alligator's mouth into the tunnel. Well, it's not really a tunnel, it's more just kind of like a fence to make it seem a little bit more... Um, like scenes so it's a bit more split off and here we go what's this is this another animal area i think it is i believe we've got hippos over there this seat is rubbish i'm going to move 
There we go, we've got all the hippos in there, as you can see. Here we go. And then now we're going up the lift hill, the first lift hill of two. There's the second lift hill right there. Actually, I think that might be the drop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the drop. I don't think it's the first drop, though. I think that's the second drop. Here we go, we're going up the lift hill. Unless there is only one uh, lift hill on this, I'm pretty sure. There we go, there's the RMC Raptor. This coaster has a 95 degree drop. I was able to figure out how to make the drop even steeper. So that has a 95 degree drop. That's the steepest drop I've built on a roller coaster in Planet Coaster ever. So now I've figured that out, I can use that on other rides now. Like if I wanted to build, I don't know, if I wanted to build another one of those, with an RMC hybrid, I can tilt it to 92 degrees or something. Get my Iron Guard with 91. And here we go. I don't really know where we are. Let's try and switch seats so we can a few better views because I'm pretty sure I can't remember if I, I do remember that I did build loads of this and then somehow for some reason I didn't save the, it didn't save the game so somehow I must have just not pressed the save park button when I thought I did so then it deleted quite a lot of what I'd already built in part luckily it was only this, this rapids and there was a couple of parts of uh, the movie backlot area, so I, I I could just easily rebuild that. But the first rapids did have, yeah. There's only one drop on this one. Oh no, no, I think there are two drops. There we go, soaking there. So you can see there was the crash plane up there. Here we go. Yes, I'm pretty sure there is two drops on this thing. Here we go, don't really know where we're going. I can't really remember much about this. This was one of the first areas I built. I, I believe it was the fourth area that I built. Here we go. Can't remember I didn't remember it being such a long ride. I do remember on the lot the other one there though that you got some amazing views towards the RMC Raptor. You don't get quite as good views now, but they're still pretty good views that you get. Here we go, where are we now? Okay, we're just going through the, the plant life now. Oh, here we go, we're at the second lift hill. And here we go, at the top here, there might be a, a little surprise for, a little unwanted surprise for people who don't like snakes. A bit of a spoiler alert, there are some snakes somewhere up here. I believe they're just round the corner. There, oh no, that's not them, that's supports for the rapids. Wow. Here we go. I'm really impressed with this rapids. It's the first rapids I've ever built in Planet Coaster, as well as the first time trying to make a jungle themed ride. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And there's the hyper coaster over there. I love that hyper coaster. One of my favourite coasters in the park. Even though the area is probably one of my least favourites in the park. The coaster is one of my favourite places in the area. And there we go, there are the snakes. We've got some big snakes and little snakes over there. And here we go, be careful of those snakes. And then here we go, the snakes are right here by the drop which we're about to go down. This is the larger of the two drops with lovely views over there towards the RMC Raptor. And as you can see, no matter where you're, si you're sat, you will get to experience the snakes for those who have a fear of snakes puts them on edge a little bit luckily for me I don't have a fear of snakes I mean I've, I've not seen many snakes before I've only seen snakes you get in the UK but I don't ha have a fear of snakes luckily there we go Ooh. and there we go down the drop and this is the most dangerous part of the river adventure where we meet, I don't know if we're going to get good views, where we meet the scorpion. 
don't know if scorpions live in these, this type of scorpion lives in jungles or not, but I'll put it in anyway. But there we go, right behind us now there is a scorpion pinching right at the boat. You can hear it and you can't really see it, which is rather annoying. Let's see if we can move seats so we can see the scorpion a bit better. There we go, there it is. Hiding there, ready to pinch people. Well, I don't know. And there we go, that's the end of the Jungle River Rapids. I'm happy with that. It's my first rapids, my first time using the jungle and making a jungle themed area. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So there we go, there is the jungle area. And now we're going to move into the haunted forest, the demon's forest area, where we have two attractions. We have this RMC uh, Raptor, and we also have this ride down here that looks a bit like a funfair ride, but I did my best to try and cover up all the tacky funfair lights and stuff. There's not really things around here, is there? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. But here we go, we're going to take a ride on this RMC Raptor called Demonic, because it's a demonic ride. This is the this is probably is the most intense ride in the park. Definitely the most intense roller coaster. Because as you can see there, as I just showed you a minute ago, it does have a fear rating of over nine, which is pretty high for a roller coaster and planet coaster. That's basically the limit you can kind of get away with. If it's higher than ten, then guests won't ride it. This is like right on the limit. I, I, I tried to make this quite a few times, but it was always too intense. Because uh, with RMC Raptors, there's really tight turns and stuff. But obviously, Planet Coaster doesn't like them like that. So I had to make the turns a little bit less whippy, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. And here we go, we're at the top, going down the 95 degree drop. And here we go, this is an intense ride. Imagine being on this in real life. Imagine how fun that would be. There we go, really good airtime. Right as well, good inversions as well, and I love how it's re really like an RMC Raptor, how it just flies through the track with a really fast speed, and it just never lets that speed go right up until you get to the brakes. And there we go. Speaking of the brakes, there we are into the brake run. It's a short ride that, but it's definitely the most intense coaster in the park. And there we go. So we're now going to look going to look through one more area in um, in this episode before the next episode, and this is the movie backlot area. So as you can see, we've got two rides here. We've got uh, Zamperla Air Race here, and also the main attraction is uh, this Premier Rise Launch Coaster. However, I made it a family coaster. This is supposed to be kind of like the backlot stunt coaster at King's Island, King's Dominion and Canada's Wonderland. This is basically supposed to kind of be like that. So here we go and I, I believe this is called the Extreme Stunt Coaster. Yep, there we go, the Extreme Stunt Coaster. We're going to get on. This one's going to be quite laggy because it's got quite a lot of... A oh, 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 no, 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 no. I don't want to show you guys too much of the ride before we get on it. Right, here we go. Right, we're going to get on. And here we go. This one's going to be quite laggy, I think, because there's quite a lot of effects on this ride. Lot, quite a lot of triggered effects. So here we go. And here we go. We're about to launch. There's quite a few launch coasters in this park, I believe, anyway. There we go. There's the taxi coming past up into the first Fairtime Hill. We've got a bit of an explosion going on there. Quite a lot of explosions. This is basically a movie back lot literally just going wrong. There we go. We've got flipping trucks and here we go into an Fairtime Hill over all the rocks and I'm really happy with how I was able to do this. I really like how I was able to make it explode like the car was flipping. So as you can see, it's like an explosion that flips the car over. That's actually two separate effects that I had to trigger to make it look like the explosion was making the car flip and not just it was like two different things, uh, two different effects. So there we go. In fact, you, you'll get, to, in fact, no, because this train's coming over a little bit too early. But there we go, it still it still sets the fire off. So as you can see, it is two separate effects. However, I just made it look like it was because of that explosion that makes the car flip. But there we go, that is the first episode looking in Discovery Springs. I really hope you enjoy this park, uh, this video uh, and the park, because I really like this park. So in the next episode, 
we'll be going into further details with this medieval area uh, and this adventure area and maybe as well if we have time I think we probably will we'll go into this area as well and then in fact we'll probably do one of the big areas so I'm thinking maybe the medieval area the sci-fi area and the adventure area and then in the third episode we can do the wild west area and uh, the tropical area and then we can in the next uh, episode after that then obviously we can operate the park and see what it's like with guests and uh, when there's guests in the park and managing all the staff and yeah it's, it's going to be a journey this series it really is so I really hope you like this park just as much as I do I'm very happy with it thank you very much for watching this video make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly roller coasters George William Kelly and George Kelly animals message me on snapchat at george kelly follow me on twitter at george kelly and check out my other youtube channel at wealthy eagle thank you very much for watching remember to like comment share and subscribe stay safe everyone and i will see you all later bye